have an interesting segment today. I'm with Chris from the Regional Water Providers Consortium, and we're going to be talking about backflow. And really, a lot of us as homeowners or just people in the neighborhood, we really don't know about backflow. So if you can explain exactly what that is. Just, I think in a nutshell, the best thing that you could say is that um, Backflow is a program, it's a state regulated program for public water systems, uh, a cross connection program. And when we say backflow, we're talking about water has an intended direction, it's supposed to go that way. Well, the backflow is that through water hydraulics, for some reason, the water is coming back to us, and we don't want that. And so the backflow or the cross connection program that the public water system has um, uses plumbing devices to keep the water going one direction and not allowing it to come back and bringing anything with it we wouldn't want in the water. So it maintains water quality. Excellent, excellent. So we're right at the street and this is the water meter. Yep. And so really everybody has one. You should know where that is for yes, your house you in case you ever need to shut off the water because there's some kind of problem. Yeah, that's a handy thing to do. Always know where your main shut off valve is. And sometimes it's here in the box. You might even have one next to your house too, but yeah. So this is where your meter is. Now when we're talking about cross connection and backflow and protecting against backflow, Two most common places that you're going to find a backflow assembly, which is that plumbing device that keeps the water from coming back, you're either going to find it near your meter box. Okay. Now, in this case, because we have the sidewalk right here, it would probably be on the water line right on the other side, be inside of a box, you know, what we would call an irrigation box. They're typically green. And the most common backflow assembly that you're going to find mm -hmm. looks like this. This is a double check backflow assembly. They're very common on the main line to the home from the meter. This is also very, very common on the underground irrigation system. So if your backflow assembly is not located on this main line, the other place where it's located is where your irrigation system is connected to mm -hmm. the main line to your house. Same thing, it's inside a green irrigation box. Right, and I think a lot of us, because we want to save water, we want to water efficiently, and we also want to make it easier to water, we get irrigation systems. And if you're doing it by yourself, you really want to maybe do all the trenching and everything, but call professionals in to establish and to install all the backflow devices. Yeah, most definitely. And then that way they'll get tested too, you know. I mean, you c people do install them on their own, but they don't understand mm. what they're for. Sure. And then and then the fact, again, it goes back to that regulated program that, that the public water systems have. And they, they have to be tested on an annual basis, once annually. And so if you do have an irrigation installed, whether you had a professional do it for you or you did it yourself, mm -hmm. you need to contact your water provider and let them know that this is what you've done and you know now where do I go with this backflow assembly. Well, you do have another um, yeah. system there too. So in case you don't have one underground, there is an above ground too. Yeah, there's. Um, you would see these are above ground. The application for that one is that they are installed below ground most commonly. Mm -hmm. This one right here, it's application is most definitely above ground. If this is ever installed below ground, we have a big problem <laughs> not to be below ground. But this one right here is a pressure vacuum breaker. Now there's this one and one very similar to it. Mm -hmm. um, this is a testable assembly. The other one is actually a backflow device. It's not testable, but it can be inspected. And these, like that one, they prevent water from flowing backwards. But these two are most definitely the common, common, you'll see them out there. And if you have a yard and you have an irrigation system, you've got one of these little darlings sticking <laughs> up out of the ground and you've never even looked at it right. or had it tested, you should. Right. Yeah. Well, this is a lot of information and really it's very important because we want to have great quality of water for all of us. Right. So if you have any other questions, you can go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to the consortium and the email for, or the website for that. www.conserveh2o.org. Right. Well, thank you very much and very much information. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.